they're off for the Masterson Holdings hurdle. Shortish run to the first of the eight scheduled flights. And it's the nose banded uh, Stepney Causeway who will lead them at the first to I Like to Move It, the maroon and white, just ahead of Tritonic, the red cap, and two shots of tequila, the outsider of the four, the back marker, as they make the long run between the opening pair of flights. Stepney Causeway are taking them along at a reasonable tempo despite the small field in excess of 30 miles an hour through the first quarter mile trap and at about 33 miles an hour at the moment and Stepney Causeway under restraint in front. It's single file stuff in behind. I like to move it tracking the pace with Tritonic sitting on his tail and the hard pulling two shots of tequila last of the four. Stepney Causeway launched himself at the second. He got very swiftly from one side to the other. As a consequence, he briefly extended his lead. Turning now to meet Rising Ground. Stepney Causeway from I Like to Move It. A tritonic. And two lengths away to two shots of tequila. And on the incline, the pace has notably steadied. Just in excess of 25 miles an hour. Stepney Causeway being given an early breather by Harry Skelton, controlling the pace at his leisure. And now they free will down to the third, and Stepney Causeway opening up on the descent. Goes four clear from I Like to Move It, who's having his mind made up for him in second. Tritonic jumped it fluently in third. And two shots of tequila has been left behind at this stage, last of the four. Moving steadily towards the halfway point then, and it's Stepney Causeway with a clear advantage in the hands of Harry Skelton and the colours of the Gredley family over I Like to Move It, Sam Twist and Davis, the uh, maroon and white, Tritonic, the red cap for Adrian Heskin, and two shots of tequila and Nathan Mosscrop at the next. Stepney Causeway flicking the top on that occasion. And he was quickly again from takeoff to landing, going on towards the flight at the far end of the course. This is the fifth of the eight. Stepney Causeway made all so far. Three lengths ahead of I Like to Move It, a couple to Tritonic, and a gap to two shots of tequila. And there Tritonic was untied. He bunny hopped it and left a trailing leg in the birch. Skelton glancing in behind aboard Stepney Causeway. He'll see that Sound Twist and Davis aboard I Like to Move It is his nearest pursuer as they prepare to run down to the third last. Tritonic is a couple of lengths away in third, and there's a 10 length break to a two shots of tequila. So Stepney Causeway just raising the tempo now. They're up to 35 miles an hour, 36 miles an hour as they descend towards the third last. Stepney Causeway trying to run the finish out of his rivals. I like to move it a couple of lengths away. Tritonic waiting in the wings in third place. This big break to two shots of tequila, and they're now bearing down on their second last. It's the nose banded Stepney Causeway pursued by I like to move it and try tonic the red cap. Stepney Causeway quickly over the second last. I like to move it shaken up now. Two lengths down as they swing for home reminders for Tritonic back in third. And it's Stepney Causeway again. Skelton glances behind. He asks his mount for more. They climb towards the last. I like to move it on the left. Throwing down what looks a strong challenge. Tritonic on the right. I like to move it. Comes to Stepney Causeway. Jumps on. Setting off up the run in. I like to move it. Sam Twist and Davis. All guns blazing. Tritonic is beginning to stay on for Heskin's urgings. Stepney Causeway held in third. I like to move it. Tritonic is chasing, but he's chasing in vain. And I like to move it. Moves it up the Cheltenham Hill and takes a step up in grade in fine style. Unbeaten over hurdles. Tritonic in second. Stepney Causeway third. And then two shots of tequila. Well, they've had a fantastic start to their Cheltenham season, a brilliant weekend so far. Nigel and Sam Twist and Davis, I like to move it, landing the Masterson's Holdings hurdle, beating Tritonic and Stephanie Callsway, who turning in and down the hill looked like he was going to be going a lot closer than he has. But listen, very exciting horse. We said that he could be anything uh, prior to this race. Uh, Jonathan, and what did you make of him? Local Maestro reminds people he's still a force to be reckoned with, isn't it? A winner yesterday, this one, very unlucky with the hollow ginge. He's done it well. I, I, I'm not sure that the eventual third is he's either not really handled the track or he's not really gone fast enough or he needed the run a bit, but he's been picked up pretty comfortably by I like the mover, who's then fought on really well. 
to, to beat Tritonic. He, Tritonic's got the age of experience, but was giving him eight pounds. He's run satisfactorily, hasn't he, without looking top class on that evidence. Yeah, I think that the fact that they've, they, the last time they were at Cheltenham, they were probably left here bitterly disappointed. I don't think they'll, they'll go home too disappointed because they'll still have a, a season with them. And yeah, they're, they're, they won't be ecstatic, however. No. Uh, whereas Connections of the Winner will be extremely happy. I mean, it's only his second run of the hurdles, and he's done just about everything right in the race. Yeah, he, he has, and um, he's, he's actually travelled very, very well into it, but uh, he's had to battle as well, and there you can see uh, he's down to be a, a, a quite an exciting winner in the end because uh, his hurdles debut at Worcester looked uh, pretty good but then you kind of try and weigh that up when you come uh, to jail them against a you know a horse like Tritonic who's, who's, who's yeah. in, in graded company yes and absolutely no no semblance of fortune about it at all he's tracked the leader taking it up when he when the jockey asked him to and fought on like a lion